Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is going to be Ward System Test 47 with the Firelight MS4424B Fire Alarm System. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> notification appliance on today's system we have a Siemens UMHU-MCS this device will be doing code 3 in the set on 75 candle for a smoke detector in today's test we have a system sensor 2WB smoke detector and like I mentioned I did replace the test station with a Kita smoke and carbon monoxide alarm this is taking its spot like I mentioned in the last video I do not have any plans to put it back up anytime soon but hopefully in the future, you know, if I expand or do anything else, um, I might add that back. For a second notification appliance, we have a Gentex GCC24CW. This device will be doing code 3 in the set on 95 Candela. Yes, I know this is mounted on the wall. It should be mounted on the ceiling. This is just a demo system, so that's why I have it up there like that. Um, but in a real instance, yes, you would technically want to have this mounted on the ceiling. If we move down, we have a Pyrotronics MS-51. Same junction box, and below that, we have an ADT-5060-S dual action pull station. All right, to start off today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the Pyrotronics pull station. Here we go. Three, two, one. For our next test today, I'm going to go ahead and activate the smoke detector by just spraying some smokes. Here we go. Should be enough. Should go off any second now. I will now go ahead and reset this pull station. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my Allen key. I'm going to begin turning it. Eventually the handle will, will automatically come back up because it's spring loaded. Here's the inside. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this back into place with the Allen screw or Allen key I should say. Using the Allen key. Tighten it back up and lock it into place just like that. And now I'm going to go to the main fire alarm control panel. I'm going to hit system reset. All right, to finish off today's test, I'm going to go ahead and pull the AT5060-S. Here we go. Three, two, one. I will now go ahead and reset this pull station. What's interesting about this pull station is that it actually takes a simplex B key to reset. So I'm going to go ahead and 
turn the key, just like that. Again, I want to make the come back up through the inside. Get it closed back into place, locks back up. Now I'm going to go into the main fire alarm control panel and I'm going to hit system reset. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a great day. And I will see you in the next video.